Hi everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. Now I have some very, very beautiful roses in my garden. I have uh, one over, right over there behind me. That is the most gorgeous, gorgeous coral colour. It was here when I moved in, no idea what it is, what it's called. It's just very old and I love it. I have two climbing roses, which I'm training um, up against the wall. This one that I can see right here, that's going to be red. And then I have one over by the cabin that is also red. I have a beautiful white one over there. I have my David Austin, which is a stunningly beautiful soft pink color, which I'm training into a flower fountain, hopefully. And I have a yellow one just over there. Just, I have no idea what that is, but they're all gorgeous, beautiful. And they all have one thing in common. Do you know what that is, Lottie? why is your face all dirty where have you been yes they all have one thing in common they are all covered with aphids so there's aphids all over this i can see and i have tried doing the squishing them with your finger i have blasted them with water they all come back and uh did you know that they are all born pregnant and each one gives birth to a live baby, not an egg. And each one can give birth to five or six a day. And each one of those five or six a day is pregnant itself. So you can understand how quickly this problem can take over our beautiful roses. And we need to do something about it. Now, I don't want to spray anything in my garden anything insecticidal. I ideally would like nature to take care of everything. Everywhere I go, Lottie follows, bless her. Yes, I'd like nature to take care of things. And obviously in an ideal world, we'd have loads of ladybirds, ladybugs, ladybirds. They would take care of aphids, but I haven't seen a single ladybird. So I don't want to spray. And I did try my garlic spray. I used it for things like hostas, trying to keep slugs away. It does work, but of course it rains a lot in England. So anytime you spray, you have to keep, keep on top of it. And also bees don't like garlic. So I don't want to spray garlic on my roses when the bit, the, they're for the bees to enjoy. So I don't want to do that. So I've thought of trying another solution, which is really, really simple. All I'm doing is getting a spray bottle. I'm using ordinary washing up liquid, filling it up with water. I'll give it a good, good shake and I'm going to spray these aphids. And let's see if we can get on top of this problem just with simple soapy water. But I will do a little trial. I'll do it and I'll come out every day for maybe about five days and we'll monitor it. And it's a nice cheap way, isn't it? They're on the underside too, so I'm drenching them. And I'll do that to all the others. You can see, oh, don't want to touch them, but I think it's killed them. They're not moving. I'll be back tomorrow. It's day two now. This is about just over 24 hours later. I'm just about to run around and look at all my roses. This one here was the worst infected. It was all the way down. They were covered. There are a couple, but I think they might be the dead ones. I think that's dead. Anyway, let's go and look at the others. So it could be that I missed these ones, or it could be that they're dead. I think they're dead. Now this had a lot. Now it's got, I could see straight away.
that's alive. So there are still a few, but they are nowhere near what there was. Yes, over here. So after 24 hours, there are still a few. And of course, if each one gives birth to six or seven clones or however many a day, it's not going to take long. They don't apparently fly, so they're not hopping back on. They're either on or they're off. So what I'll do, it's beginning to rain, I'll run around quickly, I'm going to respray everything and see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Whew, day two? Day three? I'm confused. Anyway, this morning I went round with my little paintbrush and dusted off every single little dead aphid, etc. Just so that when I can look now, I can see if there's new ones. So, I'm just going to look around quickly. See if there's any new ones. And I can't see anything on this one. Nothing on this one. Oh, action over here. Let me show you. Can you see those? Yes. So we still have the problem. Hmm. Oh, yes, look. Lots here lots of them so what am i trying to prove even because do you have to do this every single day maybe you do maybe paintbrush is the answer i'm not going to spray anything today because we can't go around spraying every single day life's too short for that no matter how much we love roses i think i've inadvertently stumbled across a better method than the soapy water. The soapy water cleaned them all off in one go when I had loads. But this is just as easy. And if you're going to have to go around squirting them all the time, you could go around and dust them off. And I think it's kinder to our rose. I'd prefer to do this than squirting with anything. So I'm changing my mind that the best way to control aphids is a little brush and it doesn't take very long. There are none, none. I'm not going to touch it until day seven and I'll be back to you for the final instalment. But I'm quite liking this method. So I will see you in three days time. And so seven days, I'm going to end my trial and what are my findings? What are my findings in this report? I mean, my findings are, I still hate aphids. I still have aphids. I have far less aphids, but funnily enough, rather than the little green ones, which there are still a few, I now have little black ones instead or as well. So can you control aphids organically? I think you can control them, that's the best word. Control them with the soapy spray, with the paintbrush, but I don't think you're ever gonna get rid of them. But I think we can um, lessen their hold on our beautiful roses. I don't really know what else to say. And uh, I don't know if I've helped at all, but uh, I thought I needed to try if you have any good ideas or comments, anything at all, please let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I am in two minds whether to post this video even. And if any of you have reached it this far in the video, well done, because it can't have been very exciting watching me 
brushing off aphids day after day after day. Anyway, it's all part of gardening. Do let me know your thoughts, anything at all. Apart from that, have a wonderful time in your garden. And I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will try and have a little bit more of a fun video for you next time. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye.